We've been looking through the 23rd Psalm, and I want to just finish up that Psalm with us over the next couple of days. Let's go back and just read the 23rd Psalm here as a reminder. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So we've been talking about this idea of the 23rd Psalm. The main point is that David is encouraging us to make God our shepherd, that he would be the one that we would follow, that we would listen to, that we would allow to lead and guide us, that we would trust in. And at the end of this last verse here, David tells us what is the promise for those who make the Lord their shepherd. And he says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So he tells us about the here and the hereafter. The here, right now, goodness and mercy will follow us. And after this life, we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let's think about the first of these this morning. He says, goodness will follow me. Blessing follows obedience. Someone said the will of God is what you would choose for your life if you knew what God knows. And so many times we are attracted to sin. We are attracted to that which harms and destroys us because it's a pick. It's pleasurable. It's immediate. It's certain. Why do people smoke cigarettes? No one has picked up a cigarette in the past 50 years without the warnings of what it does to their lungs and the risk of cancer. Yet people continue to smoke. Why? Because it's pleasurable, it's immediate, it's certain. They know they're going to get a pleasurable feeling from it. They know it'll come right now, and it's certain. But you know what? Obedience and trusting God and and doing what is right is an investment. You don't expect an investment to pay off immediately. And often faith requires us to trust and put our confidence that God is good and that He will bless those who trust Him. Yet so often we don't want to do that. I think of it like picking up a coin. In Deuteronomy it says, God says, I've set before you this day blessing and cursing, life and death. Choose obedience. He says that you might live and you might be blessed. So every time I disobey God, There's another side of that coin. It's like seeing a coin on the ground and picking up that coin. And and if that coin has a heads on it, it's got Abraham Lincoln on the coin. I see that coin. I say, I don't want the tail. I don't want the back side of that coin. I only want the heads on the coin. But you know what? You can't do that. Every time you pick up one part of the coin, you get the other side as well. The same thing happens in life. Every time I choose disobedience, The back side of the coin of disobedience is a curse. The back side of the coin of obedience is a blessing. And every time I obey God, God says, goodness and blessing will follow me. So I want to encourage you, trust your shepherd, obey him, and his reward will be a blessing. Is it going to come today? I don't know. Probably not. But one day, I will look back and say, I am so glad, I am so grateful that I trusted and obeyed my shepherd.